Hey guys, Colleen here. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, I'm in the same outfit because I'm taking advantage of great lighting. The fact that everybody right now at home is sleeping, no interruptions, no noise. Well, except if somebody passes by, you know. But yeah, I have another empties video to film because I was looking at my empties bin and it is overflowing. So let's get into the empties. It's going to be a long video. So grab your snack and your drink or your cup of tea and let's just go through my rubbish, right? Now I'm just going to grab on top because I have a huge, huge bin here. You can actually see the top of it. Um, in this in the frame I have been using up a lot of sheet mask I would have gotten these um, I was shown in a haul um, the from shop miss a and from wonderful world I find those are the best places to get my sheet mask fix but I know there are subscription websites that do um, sheet mask monthly sheet mask I think face story is one of them I was thinking of trying out one of those because I have like cancelled all my um, subscription boxes like Boxy, Ipsy, um, Birchbox so I don't know like skincare probably is a better bet in terms of a subscription service because skincare is something you use all the time you may not use makeup every day but at least you know in terms of your skincare um, I have used up another one of the Shiseido um, facial cuttings. I love these. I have to stock up and get back up. That's something in terms of an item I would actually splurge on. But in the long run, it actually works out because this lasts me a year. Like, legit. It has like a hundred and... It's 160... 65 cutting sheets in here. I could split them in two and that could legit last me for the entire year. I've been using up facial wipes. Um, I got these from Pennywise. These are like $15 for like two. I think there's one last one somewhere in my handbag. Um, these were okay. I actually prefer my color, my color wipes or my beauty treat wipes over these. So I doubt I'll be picking up this brand anytime soon. It, it did do the job, but I didn't like it legit had green tea in it and it was tingling a little too much for my liking. Just, you know, just put it out there. I have a lot of hair care products in here, like hair care can done. So all of these things I would use on my daughter's hair. Um, I would have shown this before in several empties the mega growth um protective mega growth daily leave-in strengthening conditioner i like this to like bring moisture back into this into their hair because their hair is very dry and brittle um amaya likes to use this on her edges because she she is at this stage in her life she's a teenager where she she wants the baby hairs in place and stuff like that. It's so funny. I did try this out. Nature's Collection Miracle Growth Shea Butter Hair and Scalp Moisturizer. It had a very perfumey scent and I find it was a little bit on the greasy side, which um, I wasn't too keen on. So I doubt very much I will be repurchasing that but I'll definitely repurchase this for the hair and I know Amaya will ask me for another one of these for her baby hair. Okay this is another hair product. I'm trying to categorize my junk so forgive me. This is the Cantu um, Shea Brotto Growth Strong Strengthening cre um, Treatment. I um, I honestly did not like this. Um, something about it um, I had an issue with because whenever I apply this, especially in Lani's hair, it left like a kind of white, kind of like you 
I don't know, like it somehow her hair did not absorb this product very well. So I am not going to repurchase this, but I will try the Cantu line. I've heard a lot of things about it. I'm still like testing out um, stuff, trying to find the right combination or concoction to, you know, really strengthen and moisturize our hair. This hair, oh my gosh, if I could show it all, it's all body washes, like, this family uses only body wash, like body wash garden. So of course you know about these, these are the Bath and Body Works um, body washes. I like them for the fragrance, but that is just about it. I don't particularly um, find that they leave me clean, at least the clean that I like. So I just use this but then I go in with another one to clean. Like I go in with one to clean my skin and then I go in with this one to make my skin smell nice. You know what I mean? I mean, it sounds like much, but I don't find these lather and clean as well as they used to. Am I the only one? Tell me in the comments below if you've noticed a change in how these um, shower gels lather. You know, I, I don't know, I could be going off. Um, this is one that I really love. They do lather very well and they smell heavenly and it is the Soap and Glory um, Bubble in Paradise um, shower gels. These are so creamy and moisturizing. I would have purchased these um, off of Walgreens site. And I legit have like a huge cart with a lot of soap and glory stuff in it. I find their body, their skincare stuff is like superb. I love how they they smell. I love how they make the skin feel. I and yeah, I and these last a really long time. This is like over 16 fluid ounces of product and it's so rich and creamy and they lather so well. I know I'm going on and on but I really love soap and glory stuff and don't mind me I'm throwing the garbage out as I talk. These are three brands that I find make really lovely creamy um, body washes that clean the skin and make the skin smell nice and feel nice. The Ivory Clean is a really nice one you can look at. This one smells really nice. Like, yeah, this one, it has a fresh, fresh clean. Like, you feel clean after using this. And I need to, and it's in the original scent. I actually prefer the body wash to the soap bars because for me, I find the soap bars melt very fast especially when they get wet they just disintegrate and they don't smell like the body wash the body wash smells way way better and same with the dove i prefer the dove body wash scent and this one the cucumber to the soap hard soap version i prefer it like i don't know i just love body washes and of course you know me i love oil of ole ole brand i Bannon, if I can't find those, I'll definitely stick to this. These are things you can, these are brands you can get in Pennywise at like some of the cheapest prices in Trinidad and Tobago. And yeah, they're really good at washing skin, especially if you're one of those who like a body wash over um, a hot soap, you know. These are um, shampoos and conditioners, like I have a lot of shampoos and conditioners sorry I have a lot of shampoos and conditioners and I usually buy the shampoo conditioner pair for my kids um, and I usually they would get their own shampoo and conditioner so hence the reason why there are a lot here so like I would buy shampoo and conditioner this is the soft and silky this is the mango passion this one actually smelled nice and it moisturized they're here pretty well so that is that one so if I see it again I will repurchase it um, I have 
purchased a lot of herbal essence so again the shampoo and conditioner and this is the long-term relationship because their hair is a little longer than mine and you know when your hair is longer it needs extra TLC kind of situation so I did purchase those and I tend to go between herbal essence Garnier herbal essence Garnier um, soft and silky and of course our OG fave suave Suave, I find, is probably the best drugstore or affordable hair care line in terms of shampoos and conditioners. I, they tend to do the do really well and this one was in a cherry blossom. This is the family size. This was like super duper cheap but it was really good in terms of restoring the pH balance and moisture lock especially in curly hair curly hair is really like funny and i found that suave you know with out of all of them actually worked the best on my kids hair okay i still have some hair care stuff here um i bought the shea light hair dressing um treatment for the hair i did not like this i it just felt like grease in the hair so I prefer one of those leave-in conditioners for the hair or probably a natural oil as opposed to those kinds of hair greases per se except for the there's one I hauled recently from TCB with argan oil in it which is really nice but for the most part I did get this for the hair this is the Garnier who blends illuminating oil and this is infused with Moroccan argan oil and Camilla oils. Um, it's supposed to restore shine. Um, I actually prefer this in my hair as opposed to their hair because my hair is a bit um, finer and it required less of this product than their hair. Um, I found when I used it on their hair. Their hair was so dry and brittle, it just sucked it up and sucked up a lot of this product. And you know, it just ended up not being as effective on their hair as it was on my hair. So I guess the next time I see it, I will buy this, but I'll buy this for my hair. You know, what I find worked on their hair, like they needed a heavier oil per se. So I did, and I usually buy like these these little things and make a concoction in a squeezy tube that I use to like pre-condition and put restore the hair um, this is from the brand Sunflower Mega Mega Care and this is coconut oil I make a concoction sometimes with coconut oil um, vitamin E oil and the castor oil to condition the hair and scalp and promote hair growth you know because I find like especially with Lani um, she goes to swimming lessons and the chlorine in the pool messes with her hair like legit messes with her hair and I'm trying as best as I can to counter you know the the hair damage should suffer um, being in the pool um, this I got off of my December Boxy Lux box and this is a sponge gel um, body wash infused buffer. I liked this. This I think is one of the items that I really loved from that box. So much so that I will buy some of these when they go on sale of course because you know me I like to buy things on sale to use. It has like the right amount of um, body wash in it and the grit to do like exfoliation on your body and my skin on my body is very dry and it could get scaly if I don't exfoliate often I could get like um, ingrowns and I find this helped like buff and exfoliate off the dry skin and the you know take away the dullness of my skin you know because I like to look glowy you know and this helped and I definitely will, will repurchase this this scent was 
Heavenly. I think it was Blossom Bliss. But there are others on the website that I really want to try out. And yeah, that this was actually good. I highly recommend this to anyone. Um, I did purchase um, this face scrub from Pennywise. It's the Saint Ives Radiant Skin Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Scrub. I did not like this, and I love. Saint Ives like skincare products, but for some strange reason, this did not do what it was supposed to do. Like, it didn't really exfoliate the way I would have liked it to. It just felt like something I put on my skin and a wash off, and it did like absolutely. It had a hair there. It had did absolutely nothing. So I'm definitely not going to repurchase this I used up a Clinique take off the day cleansing balm you all know how I feel about this I've been using this for like donkey years in my double cleanse routine and this just breaks down a full face of makeup with ease it doesn't get in my eyes and cloud my eyes the way other cleansing balms do and I mean it is pricey but it's not like the priciest cleansing balm on the market but this is very very effective and I just I, I repurchased this without hesitation all right this is another one that I've used up which was a repurchase and this is the soap and glory fab puff purifying foam cleanser and this has which is in it which I love because it's very cooling on the face when you clean it and I feel squeaky clean um, when I use this I know not everybody likes this but I find for people with oily skin and I do have oilier skin not as oily as before but this helps in terms of the toning and the oil production so I really like this I Again, I will repurchase this without hesitation. This I purchased um, of the recommendation of a fellow YouTuber and trainee, um, Sherry Derry. She has a YouTube channel called Sherry Approved. She recommends this. This is a Petit Fee Black Pearl and Gold Hydrogel Eye Patches. I really enjoy this so much so that I think well I have incorporated using these hydrogel gel patches in my skincare routine because sometimes I just use an eye serum or eye cream but I find this gives a boost of moisture under the eyes and you know your under your eyes don't produce any oils or any moisture it could get very dry and when you reach a certain age um, your eyes tend to show so it you need to like give it all the love it could get so you know again I, K, K, K Beauty I have turned into a convert there and I've been you know really trying to take care of my skin as best as I can um, this goes without saying I have repurchased this, repurchased this. This is a really good toner, exfoliator toner. Anybody looking for an affordable um, drugstore skincare um, brand, Pixie is really good. Um, I particularly like this because it's gentle enough to exfoliate without irritating the skin. And you know, the in terms of controlling your pores and stuff like that and it's at, a, at an affordable price I get mine at Starlight Pharmacy in Maraval because that's like 10 minutes from me a 10 minute drive from me and this one I think is like 120 TT dollars there is a bigger bottle that's like 230 in terms of like price point you probably get the best prices there for Pixie products um, this is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Booster. I would have gotten this in my Boxy Lux Sep September box. That would have been the first box they came out with. Um, I like the fact that 
this was one of those air pumps where you squeeze it out without contaminating the product the setback with the packaging though is you wouldn't be able to tell when you actually run out so when you start pumping out and nothing pumps out it's like mm, you know joy kill um this actually retails sorry i was just digging i'm just going to the garbage this actually retails for 90 us dollars i am not repurchasing this because this is hella hella expensive there are cheaper alternatives out there on the market that does the same thing as this this was good while it lasts but i will not be repurchasing this because of the price point you know i'm talking about pixie this is a rose caviar essence i love this to put hydration back into my skin i've repurchased this over and over again i got this at starlight um marvel branch i think it's like 190 tt dollars which is not bad considering again is the cheapest you'll get it here locally it makes more sense to buy it there than to purchase it online because by the time you pay to clear it and stuff like that it will cost you way more <laughs> you know um <sighs> phew Whew. trying to get through I used up this little um, sample of these Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate, um, Exfoliator. I do like this. This, compared to the St. Ives, did a heck of a job at exfoliating the face. Um, I want to purchase this, but I have to purchase this at the Sephora VIB sale. I, I looked at the price of this online. Even the small tube, travel size tube is hella expensive you know I mean a little does go a long way because this little sample lasted me quite a bit but again I don't know if I want to pay that price point for this let me know if there are any like exfoliators out there that does does the do for a really good price point let me know in the comments below I'll probably check them out but I wouldn't mind getting this but I had to get it on sale, you know. And I did throw out this benefit um, puff off eye. It's an eye gel to cool the eyes. I think this has long expired. What I like to like about this though, this hair, this tip was so cooling under the eyes. It really helped depuff my eyes in the morning when I applied makeup. Um, the only problem with these things is you could only keep them for a very short period of time. I think this is six months. So, and a little bit goes a long way. So I find the tube is just, at least for me, is just too much, you know, to finish off in six months. So this is, has, this is long expired. So I have to throw it out. Um, in terms of like let me just do some body stuff and then go into the makeup stuff used up um a body cream i love these creams this is the one i love the most um i usually keep this in my handbag i keep the bigger ones in my bathroom it still has because i bought a uh, one of these sets for christmas but it came with these little ones as well um, my family loves the scent of these so we fight over the well this one in particular this is the bum bum cream <sighs> I wanted to get a biggie bum bum but I wasn't fast enough and I was like hesitant to pay $75 for it knowing full well that my family could just run off with it and I just spent $75 on nothing because these are hella expensive but I love and I love the scent of this. I love anything tropical smelling on my skin. It has the right amount of sweet and fresh. I don't like too, too many floral scents. I'm more of a fruit and fresh scent kind of girl. So I really enjoyed these. <laughs> Using up all my like older Victor packaging, Victoria's Secrets. Um, so this one is pure daydream which is 
the little orchid and pink currant again it's like fruits oh i get any last of it it's like fruits and a little bit of fresh and that's that's how i like to roll <laughs> you know um in terms of a perfume i have used up this chloe perfume oh my god this is the only floral scent home girl will rock hardcore i have a chloe de roses in the bag there but i need to get another one of these these are hella hella expensive and i usually buy my perfumes like on sale <laughs> yeah I usually buy them on sale. I do buy them from Sephora or Nordstrom or probably when I go to Duty Free. I have gone through so many of these Maybelline Age Rewind concealers ever since they came out with deeper darker shades for us. I still find it could come out with more shades. That's just me. But I love these for brightening underneath my eye. I did use it today this is the one i have right now in use i do like it to like brighten up under my eye and conceal i will continue to use these till they decide to no longer produce them um this one this is the beauty bakery flower better not bitter and this is the yellow flower i actually prefer this to the Sasha Buttercup powder to bake and brighten up my under eye because this does not leave me dry and cakey. The consistency of the powder is more finely milled so you could lightly dust it and brush it off and it doesn't give you the crusty cakey under eye um, look no matter what foundation, no matter what concealer I have on. This is awesome. I will. This is a repurchase. I will continue to repurchase this. I highly recommend this to anyone, woman of color, who is like my complexion around that range and they're looking for something to brighten under their eyes. This is really good. I know there are local businesses now carrying um, beauty break, beauty bakery products. I think Julian, Belarus, those places. They carry this so you can probably check them out if you want to um, buy it locally I did use this I forgot to mention this with my other sheet mask because this was at the bottom of the pile this is a glow, glow recipe um, watermelon glow jelly sheet mask it's hydrating and soothing and I love this it was literally like slapping a piece of watermelon on your face um, I popped this in the fridge, let it chill, and then put it on, and it felt so very cool. I did it on a hot day, and I was like, oh, thank you, sweet Jesus. My only gripe with this is this is hella expensive. This is like 8 US for one. Glow recipe, please bring this out in a multi set. Like, put like four, five, or six sheets of these in a box and sell it now instead of me having to buy individuals but i will like buy the bullet and buy a couple of these to supplement with my other sheet mask but this is hella hydrating and it feels so good on the skin and yeah i think that's about it in terms of my empties i had a lot of empties i'm sorry if i spoke very long you know I had apparently I was just stockpiling stuff and then one day I looked and I said Carly no you need to throw this out so let's do an empties video so yeah so that's basically it so tell me what products you've been using up let me know if any of the products I featured here the stuff you tried tell me what your thoughts are on it if you share the same views as I did or you had different views um yeah so comment in the comment section below like this video make sure you subscribe so you'll know when i post and upload and until the next time bye guys <laughs>